How's it going people? Azad Singh here, showing you the final workout of my current routine. Today's workout was a lower body power workout. Uh, this workout was actually done at the end of last week. So just starting off with some back squats. Um, it's actually been four weeks until, since I last back squatted due to a bit of a problem with core and overcompensating posterior chain. I decided to swap the exercise altogether for front squats and this was more of a session for me to just try and see how usual back squats felt again. So working up the weights from 60 kilos to 100 and the working set of 120 kilos and I could have gone heavier for the five however as this just was a test I was pretty comfortable with how the 120 felt. The problem for which reason I dropped the back squats didn't seem to have much of an impact on this session which was always a great result. Moving on to some deficit deadlifts off a 2 inch platform. This exercise I've introduced to increase my deadlift and so far so good it's an amazing exercise. After hitting 220 kilos in one of the strongman competitions I did a couple of years back I just never was able to do it again for whatever reason. There was always university and other commitments and training was off and whatnot. At this point in time, I feel like I'm getting close to that stage again. So hopefully some new all time PRs. This set was actually four plates or 180 kilos for a easy triple. And I wanted to work up to a personal best on deficit deadlift in this session. 200 kilos came up quite easily. I felt like I could have got that for a triple. The next exercise I tried for the first time was a barrier squat, um, otherwise known as the dead squat. This exercise means you are starting at the bottom of the squat or just above parallel, and its main purpose is to drive power out of the hole. I decided to superset that move, which was tough enough as, as it was on its own, with some one-legged pistol squats. So just another set, and this time I decided to change to a front squat stance. So this weight is actually more than my one that max on a front squat, and it made things pretty tough. The quads were burning at this point. And also the core was slightly collapsing. You can see some sort of movement in the lumbar region of the spine. That might be something to look into. Again, this set was supersetted with more one-legged pistol squat. This move is excellent for building power and leg drive, especially in the quadriceps, glutes, and it really helps you engage with the core as well. Trying to keep your core upright in this move is quite a challenge itself. Moving on to some assistance work, weighted sit-ups, something I just threw in pretty randomly again. This session was a lot of random exercises put together, just so you can get a feel and, you know, experiment and try new things. So after the two sets of 10 on the sit-ups, I moved on to the ab wheel, which is my favorite piece of kit. As you saw from my last video, I had some technique issues. I've decided to use the correct way now, which is not going all the way down and keeping a slight hunch, keeping your abs crunched throughout the move. This has felt amazing. This really is recommended. And finishing up, as I always do, with a lot of stretching, this particular stretch is great for the quads and the abdominal wall and the toe touches for the hamstrings and lower back muscles as well. I believe this is called the cat pose, it's great for posture. So all in all a great workout, I'm looking forward to back squatting, again really heavy weights and I'm looking forward to heavy deadlifts. Thank you all for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe.